Hello, hello everyone. How's everyone doing today? Let's see. Marilyn Cape Hart, you are the first person here. Wow, 6.45 p.m. <laughs> oh, Marilyn, Marilyn, I love you, Marilyn. Marilyn doesn't play. Joanne, I thought you were gonna be the first person here. Uh, Cheryl, hey Cheryl. Uh, Thanks for being here. Uh, Joanne, did you have a good dinner? What did you send me a, a doggy bag? Okay. Uh, and who else do we have here? So, uh, on common sense, thank you for being here. Uh, you guys are just awesome. Awesome. Nadia, thank you. Thank you for being here, uh, Nadia. And Christy, hey, Christy, I miss you, Christy. Six Rock and Robin. Chrissy, I, I feel like I've, I haven't seen you guys in forever, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> Marilyn, I have to tell you. So, I was on the phone with uh, Elfine, Elfine. She's she's a really good friend of mine. Uh, hey, hey Akisia. And so, Elfine said, I bet you Joanne is going to be the first person in the live. I was like, no, Joanne has something to do tonight, so she won't be the first person. And I was like, well, I'm sure... Uh, uh, Cheryl Rose Boy will be the first person, but hey, uh, Marilyn beat you guys to it. <laughs> hey, Bougie Fragrance, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate this. Deb Day, thank you. Hey, guys. So tonight, okay, I have to wear my glasses tonight because I couldn't find my solution to wash my contact lenses. So if my glasses are crooked, please tell me that they are crooked. Do not let me go on with crooked glasses. Okay, uh, so tonight we are talking about, and I, if you guys can see this, this is my entire uh, collection of uh, Chanel, right? And I did not bring out the lotions and the, some of the body oils. I did not bring all the body creams because I was like, that's, that's just a bit too much. And then on my left here, I guess what is your right, on my left, I have all the Nichens and I have all the Tom Fords. And I'm looking for another Tom Ford. I cannot find it. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, but I just, uh, I think it's, it's still in its box. But I just talk about it. You guys know, everybody knows about that Tom Ford that uh, I'm going to talk about. Hey, perfume with Pat, how are you doing? So what are you guys wearing today? What perfume do you guys have on today? Uh, please let me know which perfume you guys have on today. The Sue Years. Okay, so you guys, this lady here, the Sue Years, that's my older sister. Uh, her name is Nestle. Yeah. Uh, she, she said, why, why, what do, why do you pronounce her name like that? Or Elfine? I just say Elfine, but her name is Elfin. Uh, uh, so I know who, she, who she's talking about. So that's, you know, that's my older sister. And thank you for being here, Nodok. We call her Nodok. Uh, Marilyn said, I'm trying, I'm trying to be like, uh, uh, trying to be the new, the newcomer, uh, remember. So, uh, Marilyn, since you're the first person on the live tonight, you get to pick between one of one between these three perfumes. I, instead of giving you a decant, hey Janice, instead of giving giving you a, a, a decant, I'm gonna give you uh, either Venezia, a Venezia, uh, Virgo, or Q. You get one of those uh, for being the first person tonight. So let me know which one you would like, and then. Uh, uh, I will get it in the mail to you uh, tomorrow. So, scent of the day for perfume bar with it, uh, 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 Josh Sherry. That's a good one, uh, Pat. I love that perfume. Uh, I used to have the original one and then it finished. And then so I had to buy the, uh, the other one. But I used to have the uh, Miss Jo. Uh, and this, you know, they stopped making it. So they, they have uh, the other one now. Uh, Akisa said she's wearing Flora Botanica. Wow, that's a good one too. I love that perfume, Ak Akisa. You guys have some great fragrance on uh, tonight. Uh, good for you guys. You know, hey, as long as you smell good, right? Uh, who else? Uh, what other perfume? I, I already know what my sister's wearing. Oh, uh, she's wearing Twilly. That's a good one, uh, Janice. Twilly is a really good, 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 good perfume. Uh, hard to find, but really, really great, great one. I already know what my sister's wearing because she's a uh, Chanel number no. five uh, fan. She just loves uh, Chanel number no. five. Uh, 
Bougie, you bougie tonight. Can't wait to get that one. Oh, okay. Uh, Isatis. Oh, oh my God. Christy, Isatis. My younger sister loves this Isatis. And that's, you know, that's that, this is a perfume that most people don't get. Most people don't get Isatis, and I don't know why. But it's been around for a very long time, and it's so good. But people just don't, just, they just don't get it. It's, you know, it's such a great perfume. Sorry, I need to put uh, my live on on my phone and I forgot to do it. All right. Yeah, Isatis is a, is a good one. Hey, Nats. Uh, oh, Nats is wearing a Magnifica. Oh, you, so you had to go there, right? To be wearing like a very powerful perfume, right? Man. And uh, Bougie said she's wearing uh, Lost Cherry tonight. Oh, ha! Bougie. <laughs> Lost Cherry, good one. Good, really, really, really good one, girl. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, all you guys are smelling good. This is, I should call this the smell good chat, right? Uh, and Deb said she put on a travel spray of Whispers of Truth from uh, House of Silage. Okay, all right, you with your House of Silage, Missy, right? Uh, but uh, let's see, who else is wearing uh, some other... Uh, fragrances that I, I don't know about. Uh, my mom, oh, Uncommon says her mom, his mom used to wear Isatis. It's it's a good, it's a good, good perfume. Uh, uh, and uh, Cinnabar, I'm going to visit Cinnabar. I've been thinking about it lately for some reason. So are you guys ready for this show? Uh, I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving and then you did some shopping between yesterday and today. Uh, and Cheryl is wearing a Versace Noir by Chris, uh, uh, Versace Crystal Noir. That's a, that's a powerful perfume, uh, uh, Cheryl. Uh, where do you guys get all these beautiful perfumes from? Wow. Hey, JC. Thank you for being here, JC. Okay. So tonight is about my perfume collection part three, right? So tonight we're going to talk about uh, Chanel, uh, Nishin, and also Tom Ford, three beautiful house. Uh, what's my favorite perfume, uh, JC? I think if you watch my first video, my first video I put out, JC, this is my favorite perfume. It's uh, Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford. Yeah, that's my favorite. Everybody uh, knows this. So my first video is Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford when my glasses were crooked in the entire video, and no one told me that my glasses were crooked. But yeah, that was my first video. So it was uh, Tom Ford. Uh, yeah, Akisa already uh, answered for you because <laughs> she knew, she knows me so well. So, okay, so uh, I need I need some I need someone to help taking notes because I always say when I do my 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 entire collection perfumes, I'm gonna give uh, a tester to everyone to uh, people in the in the room in the chat with uh, a tester of all the perfumes I'm talking I'm I'm discussing. So. If someone can take notes for me, please let me know. And then after that, you can, you know, uh, email them to me. Or you can just take a picture of it and then email me the, you know, the, the, the picture of, of, of the note. So this way I know that I have to get it, you know, get it to people. Excuse me. And for the for the last show that we did, uh, I did say that I was going to get some decade out, to, some testers out to people. I still have them. They already made the reason why I didn't mail them, you know, I explained that to you already. I did not mail them because I wanted to mail them together instead of having to pay, you know, shipping for each, each of these little, uh, you know, little testers you guys are going to receive. So are you guys ready to get on with this show tonight? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, she, you know what? She's been funny right now. My sister's been funny. She's at Florida Water. She's been funny right now. <laughs> hey, Andy Sense. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. All right, are you guys ready to uh, to get this show on? Uh, you know, going. Which one should I do first? Should I do uh, Chanel, or should I do Nishin, or should I do Tom Ford first? Which one should I start with first? I'm I'm uh, so much my helper. So who's going to be uh, helping me take notes? Who's going to help me take notes? Uh any note takers? I'm waiting for someone to say, hey, I will help you take notes. Uh, okay, nobody, no, no uh, note takers. 
Okay, Deb say Nishane. Okay, all right. Uh, Christy said Chanel. And then uh, Nishane, let me see how many people for Nishane. So one person say uh, Chanel, Nishane, uh, Tom Ford, Chanel, uh, Bougie Fragrance uh, say Chanel. Uh, I think I have more people for Chanel. Let me see, how many people for Chanel? One, two, uh, let's see, three, four, five. Yeah, I think Chanel one. Yeah, five people for Chanel. Okay, so we'll start with Chanel first. All right. So, uh, all right. I'm, I'm just going uh, with them, not in, in order of how I like them, because I, I absolutely like all of them. So, and some of them I love, but I'm just, uh, I'm just going to go, as I grab them from this, you know, from this uh, uh, tray here, I'm just going to go over them. And if you guys hear me drop something, please, it's not that I'm mistreating the perfume. I'm just putting them on the floor because I don't have anything else here to put them on. My first one is Coco Noir. Hey, Facebook user, we cannot see your name. Cannot see your name, but if you like to join uh, directly, just go directly to the channel and then you can join us directly in, in the channel. And please don't forget to like uh, the video for me. Uh, so the first one is Coco Noir. I love Coco Noir. A lot of people say, uh, you know, it's, so I used to travel for work up until uh, April. And so, I used to use Coco Noir as my travel perfume, Coco Noir and, and, and a Tom Ford and another niche uh, 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 as my Tom Ford uh, perfume. Hey, Annie, thank you so much for being here, Annie. Thank you, and 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 thank you, Joseph, for both for being here. Uh, I'm good. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, thank you, Annie. Thanks for thanks so much for your uh, super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. So Coco Noir is the first one. If someone would like, it doesn't have a lot left. I think I'm gonna need a bottle soon. So, Nestle, my sister, you, you're here. So, I need one for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so Coco Noir is really, this one lasts a very long time on my skin. And I, I really, really, I love it. Uh, it's, you know, if you guys don't have Coco Noir, it's one to uh, maybe try to get. It's, you know, it's great, great, you know, super, super good uh, uh, Chanel perfume. So if someone would like a tester of uh, Coco Noir, if you've never tested it before, just let me know and then I'm happy to get you a tester. All right. The next one is also is uh, Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, so Six Rock and Robin says she's planning on buying Coco Noir at the airport, uh, that in 24 Fubu. Oh yes. Uh, I think you, you, you're gonna pay the same price for them except you, you, you're gonna save uh, on the tax. Yeah. Uh, Cheryl says she's trying to take notes. Thank you, th th thank you, uh, thank you, Cheryl. And my sister said you got it. I know. She, you she, uh, just send me three bottles, okay? Not one, Leslie. Just three bottles. I need three bottles. <laughs> just joking. Do not send me three bottles of all that perfume. Um, Nat said the, the Tonka surprises her. Yes, the Tonka on, on that perfume, I think it's great. And, and I'm becoming a Tonka lover. Believe it or not, I'm, uh, most of the perfumes that I'm that I love have Tonka in them now, but so I'm become, becoming a, a Tonka lover. My next one is Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, this one is the intense version. I had the regular version and I, I uh, got rid of the regular version and got the intense version. The intense version is really, really good, guys. Mm. You know, it makes you feel like a very, uh, how do I say that, innocent person, right? Kind of like an innocent person when you, when you work with Kumadumaze, like you know you cannot break an egg, right? Because that's how <laughs> that's how good uh, it makes you feel when you are uh, when you wear this perfume. Uh, Joanne says she loves that one too. Do you have it, Joanne? Oh, oh, okay. So you you love Tonka, yes. And you know I, I've never seen what the Tonka bin looks like, so I really need to go and 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 uh, Google in and, and see what it looks like because it's you know. And whenever I smell Tonka in, in a perfume, I always think of it as being uh, either cacao or almond. So I always confuse Tonka for almond. So now that my nose is developing more and more, I'm getting to know the notes in perfume. So now I can, you know, I can uh, pick out the Tonka in, in perfumes. Uh, okay, so my next one, you know, Coco Mademoiselle, uh, this is the intense version. Love it, love, love the intense version. 
Hey, Joy. Thank you for being here, Joy. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I'm getting thirsty already, guys. Oh, so, talking about all this perfume uh, uh, make me uh, thirsty already. Oh, wow. This, this is really good. Okay, so my next one, it's one of my uh, staple perfumes, Coco Noir. A lot of people say they don't like uh, Coco Noir, but I love Coco Noir. Uh, it lasts forever on my skin. Co uh, I, I, you know what? So you guys know I don't know notes, and you know when when you do want a full collection, you don't want to talk about the notes because it takes too long to to talk about the notes. But this perfume here, it reminds me of something else that I have, but uh, I can tell you that I've never ever smelled anything like Coco Noir. Even though it reminds me of something. Of something that I have, but I've never smelled anything quite like it because I think Coco Noir. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is Coco, not Coco Noir. Coco, uh, you know, sits uh, on the throne by itself. I mean, it's one of the staples uh, for uh, for Chanel, and this one is just. I mean, I will always have this in my collection. Always, always have this in my collection. So, Joanne, if you have the original uh, Mademoiselle, uh, the way I can uh, describe. Uh, this one, the uh, uh, Mademoiselle Intense, is as if you if you had taken the uh, the body oil for the Mademoiselle and then you mix it uh, with the uh, regular Mademoiselle and then you layer it with some with body lotion. That's that's how I can explain how how much stronger the cocoa uh, the cocoa and the intense uh, one is. Hey hey Seven Flower, how you doing? Thank you for being here. Uh, so you want to try uh, Coco, uh, uh, Christy. So can someone, uh, whoever's taking notes for me, I think I have two people taking notes. The person who's taking notes, can you write Christy down for Coco, uh, which is this one, Christy, right? That's the Coco that you want to try. Uh, so Coco, that's my girl. Uh, she has her own uh, shelf. <laughs> yes, she does. Yeah. Uh, I, you know. Some people refer to it as, you know, an older crowd perfume, but, you know, I don't see it as an older crowd perfume. I see it as uh, a, uh, I mean, beautiful, beautiful perfume. And my sister is here. I have a surprise for her. Nestle, I have a surprise for you. You already know, know what it is because you, you love that perfume. It's one of your favorite perfumes. So, Coco, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's move into some of the exclusive lines, and then I go to, I go back to the other ones. Actually, no, let's let's finish uh, the regular ones. So Chanel number no. five, au premier. If I had to uh, maybe say something that you know, one a Chanel perfume. Uh, okay, so Joy said she would like to try Coco Noir. So I cannot keep my eyes on, on the chat. So the person who's taking notes for me, please remember to, if you see the person say they want to try something, to put that person's name down. All right? Because I'm, I may miss something and I don't want people to feel offended if, if I miss them uh, by not uh, calling their name down because they want to try something. So number five, Au Premier. So this is a watered down version from the uh, regular uh, uh, number five. And I also have. Uh, the number five low, so they are you know they are two uh, old the old the toilet version of the number five number of the regular number five. This is the au premier right, and then they have the low. Uh, I can tell you, I love the low, and uh, Deborah Hopper uh, said uh, uh, number five. All right. Uh, Nestle Joy saying hello to you. So Joy remembers how you spell. She remembers how to spell uh, my sister's last name, my sister's first name. Yeah, good spelling, Joy. Good, uh, good memory. Uh, so low number five is uh, a lighter version of the regular uh, number five, but I love it. I like it. But this one, the O Premier, I could, I can do without. It's not that it's not good. It's just that it's just not. Uh, I don't see why, why they uh, they made they made uh, you know the old premiere when they already had the number five and then they had the number five or the toilet, right? I I just don't understand why they made this one. But then again, it's perfume, you know. Hi, Nina. Uh, Nina writes, thank you for being here. 
Hey, Maud. Uh, oh, yeah, Maud said, turn in, turn in to watch your uh, <laughs> Enviable collection. <laughs> It's just it just it's just water with flowers in, in them in them uh 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 uh, uh, uh mod and hi uh, mighty thank you for being your mighty uh so okay open here I don't know why they did open here is my niece here is Tatiana here Nestle if Tatiana is here uh this one is going to Tatiana I'm gonna give the whole bottle of the open here to Tatiana because I have the uh the O and I have the number five. I don't see why I need to have to keep the old premiere in my collection. So I'm going to send this one to Tatiana. All right. So uh, let me turn this thing around. All right. So guess what? I have another number five. Uh, and this one is the special bottle. It was a gift uh, given to me by my friend Maddie. And you guys know Maddie. Maddie has uh, been in my lives uh, with me. She's done lives with me, and she's she's kind of like my perfume pusher. And the bottle is uh, has you know fingerprints on it, right? Maddie gave me this one. I don't use it. Uh, I've only sprayed it once. I receive it. Uh, uh, you know, just I I sprayed it when 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 I received it, but I don't use it because it it was a gift, and then I only have it because of the bottle because red is my favorite color. So um, I not you know I spread it just because I wanted to try it to see if it was you know the real deal. Hey Williams, hey thank you so much for being here, Williams. Uh, but you know this is like you know something that I'm keeping, uh, you know, very keeping it in my collection forever because it was a gift. So Joanne said, uh, I love the bling uh, mirror behind that clothes. So sorry that home goods and regret not getting it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should have, <laughs> you should have, you should have uh, purchased it. Uh, uh, I've had mine for a very long time. Uh, I've had this one for maybe I would say a good maybe eight nine years or even even longer. Uh, it's been yeah, it's been it's been in my house for for a very long time. Uh, okay, so all right, so this one I'm not sharing, you know, the one from this bottle, but I'm I'm happy to share the regular number five if someone wants a test of that one, right? Uh, what's the name of the red bottle? The red bottle is the is the number five shell. It's still the number five, but it was a special edition number five. Uh, let me see if you can see it here. It's a spe it was a special edition of the number five. They uh, they put them out several years ago, uh, just uh, for a short period of time. And after they were sold out, they stopped making them. But some people bought a bunch of them and they were selling them. And uh, and I had a bottle. Uh, and then Maddie, you know, I, I was saying how, you know, how much I missed that bottle and Maddie went ahead and, and purchased one and surprised me with one. Uh, so this is, you know, I'm not sharing that one. I mean, I will share the number of order number five, but this one, because it was a gift plus it's a special edition bottle, you know, you just want to keep it full, right? Because it's just kind of like, it's, it's not something to wear anymore. It's just a collection. All right. Okay. So. Uh, all right. Uh, another one that I have, of course, right? So, of course, you guys know that I had to have the biggest bottle of, of number five, right? This is the biggest uh, number five bottle, which is the 200 ml. And I'm going on my probably fourth or fifth bottle already of the big one. And I hope they don't stop making them. Uh because I love number five and it's my sister's, uh, my, my Nestle's uh, favorite perfume. She, uh, let me tell you something about Nestle guys. So she went to Haiti one time <laughs> to visit. So she took her uh, number five perfume out, out with her and uh, to Haiti. And so she left it. When she came back to the US, she, she almost cried because she was missing that perfume so badly. I'm like, just get another one. She's like, but I left my perfume there. I really want to, you know, get my perfume. That's how much she loves that perfume. So Nestle, if you would like this big bottle, I will give it to you. Because if you don't have any, because I know last time you, uh, I saw you, I gave you a bottle. I gave you one. If you don't have any, this is your surprise. I'll give that one to you. But if you have it, I'm going to keep it. Let me know. And then uh, it's, uh, then it's yours. Otherwise, I'm, keep, I'm keeping my, my big bottle of number five. All right. And because I think I have another small bottle of number five, I just don't know where I put it. So the next one that I have is 
uh, chess au tendre. A lot of people call it, you know, au tendre, but it's chess au tendre. And this one is the eau de parfum. It's a floral and, uh, and, and fruity, you know, fruity, fruity floral uh, uh, per, uh, perfume. Uh, this one is the eau de parfum one. And this is the big bottle also. This is the uh, uh, 200 ml, five, five ounce. Yep. No, 150 ml. Uh, I, you know, I don't use it much because it's it's a summer, you know, it's a summer scent. Uh, but if uh, and if you live in that, if you live in a really really hot, you know, uh, uh, climate, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Nestle Joy said if you you can send it to your sister from another mother. <laughs> oh my God, uh, Nestle can do whatever she wants to do with it, Joy. If she wants to give it to you, she can give it to you. She can give it to you. So uh, this one, if you live in a in a hot, in a hot climate, and I think Cheryl uh, was born in not you guys live in a hot climate, you guys you know should probably maybe try uh, try this one. It's really you know it's it's really good, guys. It's 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 a good uh, uh, you know it's like a girly. I don't want to say girly because you know there's no such thing as a girly perfume, but it's such a feminine you know feminine perfume. It makes you feel really, really good when you wear it. It uh, it doesn't project out a lot, but it you know it it, it lasts uh, a very long time on the skin. I get about maybe six to seven hours with this on my skin, and I think that's good enough for me. So chance autant 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 in English, right? Okay. So I don't see anybody uh, asking for chance autant uh, We had some people for number five, and Joy said. Uh, I've always wanted to try number five because I used to watch the commercials, but never did. We'll have to try that one. Joy, you should try number five. Uh, I think I have a little, uh, I went to the store and then they gave me a bunch of little testers uh, for the different channels. I, I may just put all of them in a bag and send them to you. All right, so we're down to, we're almost done with the uh, the regular channels. This is the last one from the regular Chanel. This is Gabrielle uh, Essence. Uh, they have two. Uh, uh, hi, Troy. Are you giving away the Dubai Gold Bond number nine? Uh, that's my favorite. No, I'm not giving it away, Troy. Uh, Dubai Gold. I don't have the Dubai Gold, actually. I don't have uh, Dubai Gold. It's uh, I never I never bought that one because uh, it was a summer scent, and then when I went to buy my Dubai perfumes, I was it wasn't in the summer, so I I don't have that one. So uh, Gabrielle Essence, they have two of the Gabrielle. They have the regular one, and then uh, uh, they have the Essence one. So I have the Essence one, uh, and you know it's this one is really good. Uh, the whatever notes is in this one is uh, is more prevalent uh than the regular Gabrielle one. Oh, and my uh one of my nieces uh re actually really likes uh Gabrielle that Gabrielle. It's funny how I know what my family, all the perfumes that my family uh uh like wearing. If someone would like a tester of uh essence please put your name down for it. I know you all of you guys are holding out for the Nishian and Tom Ford. I know that <laughs> I know, I know that's what's happening. <laughs> you guys are holding out for the nations and dumb for And that's okay. All right. Oh, almost broke that one. All right. The next one is, so let's talk about the exclusive line. So I only have five from the exclusive line. Okay. Uh, not, not very many from the, from the exclusive line. So 1957, uh, big bottle. From the 1957, all of those are from. Oh, all of these are from the. Uh, the you you can only buy those in the in the boutique. The 1957, if you guys know, 1957 is about. Uh, uh, it you know they talk about 1957 because it's in the store, uh, for the. The address of the store in New York, the first store that Chanel opened in New York. Uh, it's one of their flagship store in New York. And then the address is 1957 for the store. So they call the perfume after it. And 
1957 is great. Uh, of course, you know, it's a Fougere. I love this perfume. Uh, I mean, as you guys can see, I've used it uh, quite a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, Nat, I know my people. I know them. I know my people a lot. Yeah. But what? They're in a price hike? Why are they hiking the prices when they're already very expensive? They are already really expensive. I don't know why they're hiking the prices. Uh, so this is 1957. Okay. Oh my God. I'm going to have a mess on the floor here after, after uh, this is over with. So my next one, 1957. So this one is one that is not yet available in the U.S. It will not be available until uh, April 2021. And I've, uh, I've done a review on it. It's totally, it's a totally different perfume than all of the Chanel. This one smells totally different. This one is Le Lion. So in English is uh, the lion, but in, it's not to be referenced, you know, made reference to, to the animal, but it's just the name of the perfume. Oh, this perfume is really, really good, guys. Uh, I love this one. I love Le Lion. I've worn it uh, several times already, as you can see, and I think I gave someone, someone a decade from it. Uh, but I love Le Lion. Le Lion it's, come, it's gonna come out in 2021, uh, April 2021. So if you guys are gonna look for this one, look for it. You know when it comes out. Otherwise, you can get it in Dubai because that's where my friend uh, purchased it uh, for me. She she got it for me from Dubai. All right. <coughs> okay. Sorry. Even though I'm not spraying the perfumes, but they are they are getting to me. Uh, yeah, it smells lovely, Christy, if you're talking about the, the, the Le Lion de Chanel. Hey, Gillen, how are you? Thank you for being here. All right, so the next one is number 22. Uh, 22, when I smelled 22, I was in New York, and I smelled it. I think actually 22 was the first one. It was one my first uh my first uh channel exclusive perfume. When I smelled it, I uh they gave me a tester. I walk all over uh, uh the mall and I kept smelling it. I went back to the mall, I purchased a smaller one. Right? Uh I purchased a small smaller one. And then I left, went to my car and went back. I'm like, I was like, why did I buy this one? Went back and returned it and, and it was just a big one. 22 to me is one of the best ones uh, from uh, Les Exclusive Line. Yeah, the bottles are really, you know, they, I mean, because, you know, they are uh, unisex perfume. So Chanel keeps, you know, uh, they keep their bottles just plain bottle that anyone can have them. You don't, you know, you don't have to wonder if this is a men or women's perfume because they just, you know, just, just plain, plain, plain bottles. And I, I really like this one. I, uh, I think it's one of, uh, I would say my favorite one from the, uh, from the uh, less exclusive line is it is number twenty-two. If someone would like a test track of twenty-two, please put your name down for it. Oh, all right. So there are three more, three left. So I'm going to uh, call Mandel. Oh, my God, guys. But truly, mm. to me, uh, this is the call Mandel. Uh, this is a, uh, kind of a dry patchouli. Hey, Unique. This is a dry, you know, dry, dry patchouli perfume. Uh, but it is so good. It's so good. So, you know, it's unisex. You know, anybody can wear it. it oh, the bottle is like. Dirty. Sorry, 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 perfume. I'm keeping you my bottles dirty. It's such a good uh, patchouli. It's not sweet, right? So Nina said, Dr. Rose, what is your favorite Chanel? I would like uh, Cole Mandela. Uh, my, uh, 22 is my favorite one uh, from the Lex Exclusive line. And then Coco Noir from the regular line is my is my favorite one from the regular line. Uh, so uh, Elfin, if you can put uh, Nina uh, rides for Cole Mandel, put her down, please. Uh, hey, Pam. Hey, thank you for being here, Pam. And you guys, uh, so for some of you from last time, uh, I don't have everybody's address. 
please, please send me your addresses. Uh, I would prefer if you can send them to me on my, on uh, email them to me so I can just copy and paste when I'm creating the, 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 uh, the, the envelope to, uh, to send it to you so I don't have to retype them. Don't send them on IG. If you send them on IG, I have to you know, keep retyping them. If you can email them for me, and then I'm going to put my email address down. And then also my contact information is also, you know, on the uh, notes section in my channel. You can go there. You can go there. You'll see. You'll find my address, my shipping address. You'll also find my email, my Instagram, you know, how to contact me. But I'm, I'm going to type my email address here for you guys. So please send me your addresses. Uh, it's, it's the same name as my channel. Uh, very easy. No apostrophe, nothing. Uh, P E R F U M E C O R N E R at gmail.com. All right. So I just type my, my email address for you guys. Just uh, when you send it, uh, tell me who you are, what your uh, screen name is on uh, YouTube. And then give me your real name so I can associate, you know, I know some of you guys already, but some of the names I'm still trying to remember who's who, right? So Cole Mandel, uh, but truly, uh, I don't call it, I don't refer to this one as a uh, dirty patchouli, but it's just, you know, uh, it's just, oh, Pam said uh, driving now, but saying, okay. Uh, oh, be careful uh, uh, driving, Pam. Uh, I, I, you know, I really love Cole Mandel. All right. My, I have one left. And then, so I'm, I want to show this to you guys. This is, uh, the Chanel number no. five. That's how much I love Chanel number no. five. This is the body oil. It's a fragment, uh, door gold fragments, uh, 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 body oil. It's really beautiful when you put it on. Uh, it shines. It really, really, really shines when you when you put it on. It's not. It's not as expensive as the perfumes are. Uh, but you know, it has this this shine to it. Uh, if I put it on and then maybe show you guys uh, how it comes out on the skin. I don't know if you guys can see here how you know the little flakes. I can see them, but you probably cannot see it on the camera. The little flakes, and you know, they are all over my hand. It's really hard to see, but they're all over my hand. Uh, and then, you know, if you're going out, you layer this with your perfume. Uh, you know, it's uh, really, really nice. So someone said no gossiping. Who's gossiping? Oh, well, okay. All right. So this one is uh, the body oil, which I really, really like uh, that body oil. Uh, I just, you know, after you take a shower, you just put that all over your body. You feel really, really, you know sexy and beautiful to go to bed except you know your, your when you wake up your your blankets and your pillows they all will be will have gold flakes on them but you know that's the price you pay for beauty right oh uh so you said it's finished nestle your perfume is finished okay all right i'll get i'll get i'll get one out to you uh my last one from for chanel is sycamore so i've had this one for months guys and i've never opened it today i opened it because I had all these other perfumes, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to open Sycamore. And I don't even remember the notes in Sycamore. But uh, it's... Oh, I don't know. Can someone Google the notes in Sycamore and tell me? It smells like kind of like very, very there. It has some kind of some green to it, some, some green notes. Uh, so I just opened it today. Beautiful. You know, again, same bottle, right? Uh, for the for, for the for the perfumes, just the same bottle. All right, that I'm done with the Chanel's. Uh, if you you know, I hope you guys are you know pick. Uh, so not said I want to get into alls uh, and 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 shots uh, 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 soon. Yes, you should get into the alls uh, on that. And sometimes I find that the alls, the oils, they last longer than the perfume. And I I have the regular Chanel oil. Uh, also, and I'm gonna, you know, show that they're a little pricey, but sometimes, you know, uh, the, those big bottles they only come like uh, doing doing uh, Christmas and things like that. So this is the uh, body oil it comes in that uh, uh, I don't know what you call that 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 bottle. It's not a regular bottle like the regular uh, Chanel bottles, 
uh, but the oils are like really good. And they also spray, so you just spray them and rub them on your on your skin after you shower. Sometimes while your body is, is still damp, uh, it makes it you know it's really really good when you do that. Uh, okay, so I'm done with the Chanel, right? So Deborah said wood, woody smell. It's, it's a woody uh, smell. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the notes uh, on it, but uh, I sp I sprayed it and I can still smell it in here. All right, so let's get into the. Nishens or Tom Ford? Right? Okay, should I go for Nishens or should I go for Tom Ford next? Uh, what do you guys think? Well, I'm going to go to all of them eventually, but uh, I only have, I don't have a lot of Nishens. Who can guess how many Nishens I have? Can anyone guess how many Nishens uh, I have? And can you name all of them? <laughs> uh, Nishin. Okay, Nadia said uh, Nishin. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mighty Strong, I want the truth said uh, two. Mighty Strong said uh, seven. Wait, wait. Seven. Johnny said five. Nadia said eight. Akisa said eight, uh, Joanne said six, Deborah said seven. So the person who said six actually won because I have six nations. I don't have a lot of nations, but I wish I had more. Uh, I don't have a lot. So I, yeah, so I have six nations. So here, uh, fan your flames. So this actually, all these nations, all the bottles look the same, you know, the 1.7s are a little flatter than the uh, 3.4s, right? Uh, so fan your flame, fan your flames uh, by Nishin. This one has coconut, rum, tobacco, tonka, uh, oak moss, uh, Ch and Chinese uh, cedarwood. So they put... You know they, they were very smart they put all of the notes right on the bottle so you don't have to go and google the notes to know uh if you depending on what you feel like wearing that day belinda said no nah, i don't have nine of them belinda uh so that one is very boozy it's a very boozy because of the the warm uh the warm the tobacco and the tonka it's very it's a very boozy boozy one i uh i can actually i like this one better than uh another one that i have it's it's becoming one of my one of my favorites, and you know I've worn it like several times, as, as you can see. Uh, so, Joanne, can you put Joanne down for flame? Joanne, I think you would you would really like this one, Joanne, because I think I'm I'm getting to know most of you guys' taste in perfumes and you know what you like in notes. Uh, so it's this is awesome. Uh, Elfin, can you put uh, Joanne down for uh, flame, uh, Nishin uh, flame, right? Uh, yeah, you are, uh, got you, Joanne. Okay, so Nat said uh, uh, Nishin quality of the money. Uh, yes, it, uh, uh, Nat, I would agree. Uh, it's worth the money, but you can get them at the discounter sometimes. So you don't have to pay full price for them. Right, yeah, but they are definitely, definitely, absolutely worth the money. Yep. Oh, so Joy, I think uh, Nestle said Joy December first is give giving Tuesday. Send me your address. Oh, wow! What are you giving away, Nestle? Uh, I need to send you my address too, so you can send me something. Uh, so all right, uh, send your flames. Absolutely gorgeous perfume. So I'm gonna put them here now that I have space. My next niche in is also a really good one, which is Hundred Silent Ways. Uh, so some, you know what? From from looking at them, guys, some of them were uh, made in different 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 places. So Fenio Flames uh, was made in New York. It says New York, right? And then this one says Paris. I don't know if this is where they were made, but they have the, the, the country uh, name on the, on, on, on the bottle. So this one has mandarin, uh, tuberose, uh, peach. It has uh, white jasmine, gardenia, 
vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. Oh, Whew. lordy, lordy, lordy. Oh my God. Uh, Joanne said, uh, I, uh, I bought uh, 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 tuberosa because you love it. Yes, uh, tuberosa is good, Joanne. It's, oh, it's one of the uh, darkest tuberose perfume ever. Uh, so this, whew, I don't, I, you know, I, every time I smell this perfume, I get something else out of it. Uh, you, could you share my address with Nestle, please? Yes, uh, definitely, uh, Joy. I will give it to her. Uh, I, oh my God, whenever I, oh, yeah, I smell this, it, it just transports me to a different, uh, uh, to a different area. So Elfin Akisia said she would like to try uh, 100 Silent Ways. So I, I think I saw you, you said, okay. Uh, so uh, blind bought 100 Silent Ways, a good blind. Yes, definitely. If you guys can find this at the discounters to purchase, get it. And not that I'm saying that, you know, uh, this one is a good eater, the Fenio Flames, but uh, Fenio Flame is boozy, but this one, Hey, good babe. Thank you for, thank you for being here. Uh, 100 Silent Ways has a total, I mean, total, totally different, you know, different uh, perfume, different vibe. It's just great. It's beautiful. It makes you feel sexy. It lasts on the skin. And I hope it lasts on the, on the skin for you too, uh, uh, Joanne, because it, it is, you know, a great, great perfume. All right. Uh, my next mission is one that you, we, we, we don't hear people talk about. So let's just get it out of the way first, the, the other one, right? Uh, Annie, everybody knows Annie. So I think everybody knows who who's, uh, knows about Nishin. They know Annie. So there's no need to, you know, to talk about it some more. Uh, my uh, beautiful friend, uh, Deb, uh, the, the fragrance, uh, uh, not the fragrance pusher, Deb is the fragrance, uh, she told me to stop coughing. I'm, <laughs> I need to cough. My throat is, uh, is uh, dry. Uh, Deb uh, doesn't like Annie because she thinks she said that it's a little masculine. And this one, you know what? They did not put the notes on the bottle. Uh, maybe it's because I bought the tester. I think this is the tester that I purchased. Uh, but everybody knows that, you know, Annie is one of the staples uh, from, you know, from, from Nishin. Oh, uh, and Joanne, believe me, you're going to, you're going to love, you're going to love, love, love uh, 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 tuberosa when you get it. If you don't love it, I will buy it back from you and send it to, and send it to Nestle. And for the price you pay for it, believe me, it, you, it's a really, really good, it was a really good buy. All right. So this is the one we, we, we're talking about, tuberosa, right? That's my next mission. That's that's number four for my mission. Uh, this one says uh, uh, Wazawa. That's probably where it was uh, made. I don't know. It has Ilan Ilan, Armoise, Orange Blossom, Tuberose, Gardenia, Jasmine, Marigold Moss. I mean, uh, she said anyone for, for Annie? I guess nobody for Annie. So tuberosa is, uh, and I know Joanne asked me the other day, she said, how does tuberosa compare to the other one that I just reviewed? And you guys, I just released a video yesterday morning. If you haven't seen it, please, you know, please go watch it for me. Uh, but how does it compare to the other one? No comparison. This one is like probably the strongest, the most potent tuberose perfume there is ever. Okay, you cannot find anything. I don't think I've seen anything in the, on the market. Uh, the bottle is dirty. Anything on the market that is more potent on, you know, when it comes to tuberose for this perfume. And uh, the orange blossom in it and the jasmine makes it sounds like uh, something for uh, that uh, Tom Ford would, would make. 
except this one lasts. It lasts a very long time, and some of you know the Tom Ford perfumes they don't last. Uh, Alfine Pam says Annie. She would like to try Annie. Uh, I Tuberosa. Uh, it was on sale yesterday for really uh, inexpensive, like one something I think less than less than one twenty I think. Uh, you haven't tried Coco Noir, uh, 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 sister? Oh wow! Yes, you have. Are you serious? Oh, what a shame! You you come to my house all the time and you haven't tried Coco Noir. I think you would like Coco Noir also. Uh, Nina said she would like a, uh, a sample of tuberosa. Yes, I will get you a sample of tuberosa. And you guys, just so that you guys know, there are only two ml samples now. They are not uh, huge 10, 5 ml samples or 10 ml samples. They are just, you know, a sample. There's something that you can maybe wear maybe twice. If you light spoiler, maybe maybe three times. If you heavy spoiler, maybe depending on how, you know, maybe once, okay? Uh they're not really, really big testers that I'm that I'm giving out. So to be honest, it has that you know that red bottle. It reminds me of the uh, Chanel uh, number no. five, the special edition. You know, the bottle is just gorgeous, gorgeous dark red bottle. All right, I have two nation, two nations uh, left. Who can tell me the two nations that I have left? If you can tell me the two nations that I have left, I will give you a decant of uh, a Tom Ford perfume. I will give you a five ml decant from one of the Tom Ford perfumes, including the, whatever you, you guys uh, you guys win. And uh, and I will also give you a decant of the body oil from Tom Ford. If anybody can guess the two uh, uh, ones that I have left, the two uh, nichains that I have left from my, from my collection that I have not uh, discussed, right? Okay, now I got you. Uh oh, so it was 95 the tester. Oh, that's a good buy. Oh my god. Wow. No, uh I've already spoken about Fen Your Flame. Uh uh unique. I, I talk about Fen Your Flame already. Uh in fact, I've already no, I, I don't have Akivat. That is one I do not have in my collection. Never smell it. And someone told me that it was very, very masculine, and then I did not, I did not go, go for that one. All right, so Zen or Akibat? Nope, don't have Zen either. Wulong? Nope, don't have Wulong either. <laughs> yeah, I don't have uh, uh, Akibat Fane. Uh, no. Okay. So the two that I have, uh, the first one is Munegu, Munegu. So you agree uh, it does lean mas masculine for Akivat? Yeah. Someone told me that it lends masculine and I did not, I did not buy it. I did not buy that one. But Munegu, uh, is from Istanbul. This one has, uh, orange. Uh, common uh, nutmeg, geranium, ylang ylang, patchouli, frankincense, tobacco, and ember. And you know what? The the oh, I'm so mad because the uh, insert for the top uh, came out, so I need to find some crazy glue to uh, put it back in. But this one is it's a little, it's very strong. First, I'm going to say it's it's very strong, but it lasts forever it has tobacco in it so uh this one is one of the ones that i would say maybe you should wear this one at night if you have it if you're going to get this one so if somebody would like to try uh, uh a tester of the uh munegu m-u-n-e-g-u uh please let let us know uh unique said she would like to try it so elfine uh elfin sorry my dear sorry elfin i'm calling i'm calling you elfin elfin if you can uh type put munig u m u n e g u for unique i love i love it i i really like this one uh but i haven't actually have anywhere to go to actually wear it but oh i i, I gotta put some on so you guys, 
Mm. Well, <clears throat> it's strong. It's very strong. It takes a, a, you know, this is like a perfume for a strong person to wear, right? Yeah. Hey, Time in 8. How you doing? Thank you for being here, Time in 8. You miss uh, the first part. So we're in the second part now. So the last one. So I'm going to give you guys a hint. The last nishin that I have has coconut in it. Can you guys guess? It has coconut. Can you guys guess which one it is? Ah, uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing. I'm really doing really good. Thank you. Oh, it's okay that you let. Uh, but you're here. That's what's important, right? That's you know the important thing is that you're here uh, with us. Hey, Nelly. Oh, Nelly, I miss you, Nelly. I haven't seen you in forever, Nelly. Thank you for being here, Nelly. Uh, so. The last uh, nation that I have has coconut. Who can guess which one? Naive and Ven? No, I don't have Naive and Ven. Uh, I want the truth. No, don't have it. So, uh, Joanne, you said which one is that one? The one I was I just talked about? It's this one. It's Munegu. M U. M U N E G U. It has tobacco. Uh, Joel, Joel said, I feel like a, a perfume virgin. <laughs> I feel like a perfume virgin. Well, I have no idea about any of these perfumes. I know. Uh, Joy, you have to be a perfume uh, hoarder in order for you to know about most of those perfumes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Monegu Joel. Okay, so. Uh, the last one that I have, the uh, the bottle, the writing on the bottle is white. The perfume looks a little light yellowish. Uh, yes. Who said uh, uh, Umbra Calabria? Nina, yes, it is Umbra Calabria. That's the last one that I have. Uh, you are right. This one has bergamot, uh, galbanum, jasmine. Actually, it doesn't have coconut. I thought it had coconut, but it doesn't. <laughs> it has coriander, uh, sweet amber, moss, and vanilla. I thought it had coconut, but it doesn't have coconut. But you still, you know, you still want. So I will give you uh, a, a five ml decade of any of the Tom Ford uh, uh, that you, you 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 want. Just let me know. Hey, spicy! Thank you for being here, spicy. Uh, Umbra Calabria. This one, I don't know how to explain it, right? Because of the coriander in it, but it has sweet amber, it has um, moss, it has vanilla. It's really good. This one is uh, really, uh, how do I explain this perfume? Let me put it on my arm so I can explain it to you guys what this perfume is kind of like. This is that, like your green, it's a green vanilla. It's a green floral and vanilla, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. Would be uh, fan your flame has coconut. Yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, for uh, researching that for me. Uh, it's really good. It's a green uh, uh, vanilla perfume, but the vanilla isn't so prevalent in it because it has. Uh, I think the bergamot is taking over the vanilla. My God, I'm. I surprise myself. I'm. I'm able to tell those notes in those perfumes are. Oh my God, I must be getting really good, right? Uh, but it's just, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful green. Uh, I wouldn't wear this in the winter, but definitely in, in, in the fall and, and spring. I think the winter will, will just uh, maybe wash it away. Hey, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Latifa. Thank you for being here, Jennifer. Uh, it will just wash it away. Oh my gosh, this is a really good turnout. I have 40 people here. And, and I have uh, 37 people watching and then maybe the other three on, on, on Facebook. Thank you so much, guys. This is so nice uh, of you for spending your Saturday afternoon with me. So uh, Ambuya Calabria is great. Uh, green, green, green. That's, you know, that's, that's what, that's what I, 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 I say when it comes to this perfume. Just, just you know, pretty, pretty green. If someone would like to try this one, uh, let me know. 
uh, you know, let, let us know in the chat and then uh, I will get a tester out of this one out to you. So I'm done with belly chains. I'm going to flip this over so I can put some of the tone pot on it. If this thing, if you guys uh, see that this thing falls on the floor, you better call 911 and send them over my house because I'm, I'm going straight to the mental institution because if it falls, I'm going to break all of the perfumes. Uh, all right. So let's talk about Tom Ford, right? Talk about some of the Tom Ford perfumes. How many Tom Ford perfumes do you guys think I have in my collection? How many Tom Ford perfumes do you guys think I have in my collection? Anybody? Thirteen. Jennifer said. Nana said uh, twelve. Jennifer said thirteen. I don't even know how many I have actually. So I can count two. Well, uh, Wood Babe said nine. I only should say fourteen. Uh, Pat said. 12, uh, Deb said 8, Joy said 7. Hmm. Who said 12? Christy 1. I got, I have 12. I have 12 of them. Uh, Phaedra Franklin. You are, you must be new, uh, Phaedra. Uh, Phaedra, Phaedra Franklin, you must be new. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I have never, I haven't seen you here before, but welcome, welcome to my channel. And this is uh, today I'm doing my perfume collection, entire perfume collection part three. I was doing uh, today. We're talking about Coke, uh, Chanel, uh, talking about the Shein, and then now we're going to talk about the Tom Ford. And do, when I'm doing this little co collection here, when I talk about my entire perfume collection, I give everyone a little you know tester to try if they want to try them they get a two you know uh, two ml decant uh so yeah so uh christy you get you 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 uh you guessed it so christy will get a five ml decant so uh michelle can you please and and, and elfin can you please write christy's name down she gets a five ml decant of any tom ford perfumes she would like Except I hope you don't ask me for the small ones because the small ones are like really tiny bottles. Uh, and then there was someone else before that. Uh, thank, thank, uh, you're welcome, uh, uh, Miss Franklin, you're welcome. Uh, and there was someone before that who I think who guessed my last Nishin perfume. Was it Nina? I think it was Nina. Nina get, also gets a, a 5 ml decant. So put Nana down for a five ml decant of uh, any of the Tom Fords, right? And then Miss Marilyn gets uh, one of these perfumes. So write Miss Marilyn's name down for me. All right, okay. So, and you guys, let me show you something. I received this today. I mean, uh, last week from uh, uh, Tiziani Terenzi. And when I send your testers out, I'm gonna put you know one in each of the packages uh, for you guys. Uh, they let me see how many how many I have. Uh, I can tell you. So one of them is a candle, and then let me see. I have two, four, six. I have eight. I only have eight. So I will put them in uh, in the same bag with your little testers. Except you will not get the box like that. Okay. When you see it look like this, you think it's a lot, it's a big bottle. It's not. Let me show you. Uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, it's a, it's a tiny bottle. I'm going to remove it from the from the box so I can put it in the little envelope. I'm going to mail your testers in, right? So I don't have to put them in a big in a bigger box for you. Because your testers will come in an envelope looking like this. So I will put this little uh, tester here in your envelope, in, in the little envelope for you, right? Uh, but uh, since they send me, send them to me for me to, uh, to, to try, right? I'm going to do uh, a quick video of them first, with them first, before I, I ship them out. So 
you know, uh, I would put them ran in randomly in, in people's uh, 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 bags. So don't feel offended if you don't receive one from me because I don't have a lot to go around. All right. Uh, they have two of them. They, they have two of them uh, in the in this box. Two of that are not that are part of my collection, and those two are really really good. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one because I don't want people to ask me to, you know, give them. But because I'm just gonna put them randomly in in, in each of the bags. All right. So let's talk about Tom Ford. I'm gonna start with my favorite, and you guys know what my favorite is. Jas Jasmine Rouge. And I even have a backup bottle for it, and I even have a purse spray for it because that's how much I love it. Uh, Nelly said she's been uh, curious about uh, Mag Magnificat. Nelly, I do have Mag Magnificat, and I have one for sale too. And you know, it's not. No, I don't have. No, I don't have one for sale. Nope. Sorry, I lied. Uh, I sold it already. Uh, Magnificat is really good. Really good. Uh, thank you, Joanne. Uh, it was, you know, they gave it to me uh, to uh, they send it to me uh, last week. So I'm, after I review them, I'm just going to uh, donate them to people because I don't, you know, you guys know I don't like to keep small things around. So Jasmine Rouge, my favorite. Oh my God, the bottle is dirty. Jasmine Rouge, I, you know, I love love. It's my number one perfume. Okay. Oh, what just fell? Something just fell. It's my number one, number one, number one perfume. Uh, yes, Nelly, Jasmine Rose is beautiful. And I've yet to miss to, to meet anyone who said they did not like uh, Jasmine Rouge. I love it, love it, love it, love Jasmine Rouge. That's my number one. If somebody would like a tester of my number one perfume, uh, you're welcome to a tester. All right. Uh, let's talk about this one here because you guys don't hear me talk a lot about, you know, body oil and stuff. So, but one of my, uh, they have, this is the Nuoli Portofino, right? I don't have the perfume because the perfume does not last at all. Right. But I have the body oil. The body oil is the bomb. And I thought it was discontinued, but you know, uh, fortunately they still sell it. <laughs> And I have a full bottle and have half of this left. And Nestle loves this uh, body oil. So uh, I may even send this to Nestle. Or, uh, I can, I'm, I'm happy to give someone a decade out of this, right? But I just have to put it in a different bottle for you. So it will not come in a spray bottle because I don't think it, it will be able to spray in the small uh, spray. But if, if someone would like a decade of this, let me know. I can, you know, I'll get you a decade out of the uh, body oil it's super green very very green uh uh body oil but it's really good it's better better 10 times better than the perfume and <coughs> what's the answer no no uh she said can i have the answer uh what's the answer time in eight uh, do you live in uh do you live in in the u.s if you if you live in the u.s you can have it if you don't live in the u.s i cannot ship it out of the country okay uh so if guys don't buy the perfume buy the body oil because you get a lot more for, uh, for your money from the body oil right and then it lasts a very long time on the skin versus the uh, and i think the all the perfumes have been discontinued uh so if the perfumes have been discontinued, you know, the body oils may also may be discontinued. So get your hands on the body oil. I think it's about $70 for the big bottle. It's worth it. Yeah, time in eight, you live in Canada. I, don't, I cannot ship it to you, to you to Canada. Sorry, girlfriend. I'm sorry. I think, yeah, I think we had that discussion already. I cannot ship anything to Canada. I cannot ship perfume to Canada. Sorry. I apologize for that. So no only part of no body oil. Let's talk about another one that you guys probably don't hear a lot of. It, it is Cafe Rose. Oh my God, they are all dirty. Uh, they are Cafe Rose. There are three people for Jasmine Rose. That's not fair. Really? 
So you guys want to share my, my favorite perfume. I'm just joking. Cafe Rose. Uh, that's my number, I would say number, probably number two or number three uh, perfume uh, from the uh, Tom Ford line, the Cafe Rose. Beautiful coffee. Oh, let me see. Oh, no, it's still full. Uh, about 80% full. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful coffee, uh, coffee perfume. And rose, uh, very, very extremely long lasting. When I say extremely long, long lasting, I'm talking about like uh, this thing lasts like at least 12 hours on the skin. It's super, super great. Do I say super, super great a lot? I think I do, right? I need to find a different uh, sentence uh, instead of super, super great, right? Uh, okay. There's another one that you guys don't, ha don't hear a lot uh, about. Uh, and it's because not a lot of people like to wear to wear, to wear this one. Uh, and I don't see a lot of people uh, chatting. What happened? You guys are still here with me, right? I hope so. Okay. So Venetian Bergamot. <coughs> Venetian Bergamot is just such a beautiful uh, Bergamot perfume. And I think because of the name, a lot of people don't go, you know, for this one. <coughs> Sorry, a lot of people don't don't go for the for the uh, because it's just I mean, who just call it a, a perfume uh, bergamot, right? But Venetian bergamot is one of these uh, perfumes that most people don't. Uh, I think you have to really, really. Uh, Yes, please, guys, please, please hit the like button for me, please. I, I appreciate it, please. If you guys are staying with me, so that means, you know, uh, you guys, you know, like the the, 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 the perfume, so please hit, hit the like button for me. So, uh, <laughs> Nat says, super, super great comes from your soul, so it works. <laughs> Thank you, Nat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 yeah, it's it's my own way of explaining a perfume that I you know that that I uh, I really really enjoy wearing. So Venetian bergamot, great great bergamot perfume. I don't know what's in it. If you guys uh, you know pull it, but it's it's a good uh, winter perfume going out. You know going out, feeling sexy. I see uh, a young lady or uh, a very mature woman. A very good-looking guy, a tall guy, slim guy, short guy, uh, muscular guy, bulky guy. Anybody wearing this perfume, and anyone wearing this can get away with it. And you guys know I don't get money from Tom Ford, right? <laughs> he doesn't even know who I am. But uh, it's you know, if you guys, I mean, like, just look at, I mean, smell this thing, you'll be like, dang. How come I never, I didn't know anything about this perfume? It's, uh, I cannot stop smelling. Let me, let me put it down because I cannot stop smelling it because it's so, it, it is, it is that good. Venetian Bergamot, it is that good. All right. Uh, so my, okay, I'm, let me go to the small, small bottle, right? Champaka Absolute. Uh, hey, Facebook user. <coughs> I don't know who you are, Facebook user, but uh, thank you for being here. If you can, uh, please let me know who you are and uh, what's your, what your name, uh, because I cannot see your name here, right? But if you let me know who you are, I would really appreciate it. Champaka Absolute. Champaka Absolute. Uh, I only have the 50 ml, right? Why am I sweating? I only have... Uh, the 50 ml. Uh, I I don't know how to explain it. It's one of those perfumes that you know you love to hate, right? Uh, sometimes you you love it and sometimes you hate it. But uh, most often I love it. Uh, I, I, and I've never seen it in the bigger bottle. I don't know why. Maybe uh, they did not put it in the bigger bottle. Uh, maybe I've never seen it bigger, bigger, but I've always seen it in the 50 ml. And uh, this is like maybe my fourth or fifth bottle of Champaka Absolute. That's, you know, that's how much I use this perfume. 
Uh, it's kind of like, you know, my easy reach from the Tom Ford, besides Jasmine Woods. All the bottles are dirty, by the way. Uh, they just, they all have uh, dust on them. Yeah. So it's one, it's my easy reach. Uh, I just take it and then spray it and then just go, go on, on, on my business, right? Uh, so Champaka was interesting, but I need to spell it on skin to really explain it. Yeah. You know, I take most of the Tom Ford perfumes, you know, they, they are skin perfumes, right? It's not something you spray on paper and then say, oh, I love this, right? It, you know, I only spray perfume on my skin for me to enjoy it. Spraying it on, on paper doesn't do much for me. Uh, so this is why I, I you know, when I want to test a perfume. Uh, <laughs> did, really? Did, can you believe she said that, uh, uh, Elfin? We have no choice, no nightclub. Can you believe my sister just said that? So that, because there's no nightclub, so you guys are here. You, you are here. But I want you to know, Nestle, uh, my real, uh, my real uh, uh, friends here, my people who really support me, even if there was a nightclub, they will still be here with me because those guys have, you know, come to really, really like me and 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 they like spending time with me. So you are wrong for that system. <laughs> so Shambaka Absolute is uh, one of the Tom Fords that I have. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you guys, uh, who don't know my sister, she's just as much of a, as a jokester as I am. We, we talk about, you know, a lot of, you know, talk, uh, stuff sometimes. So, Shanghai Lily. Shanghai Lily, I think that's one that's been discontinued. It's either Shampaka or Shanghai. One of these two has been discontinued, and I, and I can never remember which one has been discontinued. And if you guys, uh, you know, want a tester, I'm happy to give you guys a tester, uh, uh, from either one of those, you know, uh, those two small bottles, right? Not that I don't do club. I don't do club either, uh, clubs either, either uh, or not. Shanghai Lily gave me this same kind of like, it has some kind of, you know, coffee in it or something, right? Uh, I think, uh, I don't know, one of them has been, been discontinued anyway, but uh, I love it. I love, 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 love uh, Shanghai Lily. Uh, so I have five... Tom Ford left, right? Five of them. No, six, I think. Six left from Tom Ford. Guys, this is Noir Pour Femme. Right? Oh, so, okay. So, Shampaka is the discontinued. Shanghai Lily is. Oh, okay. So, I need to, I need to save, to save uh, Shanghai Lily uh, and not use it a lot because it's hard to find. I had to get it all the way from, from, from Canada from somebody. So Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Mm. Oh, man. How many people have this perfume and how many people have actually smelled this perfume? The Noir Pour Femme. This is uh, sexy in a bottle. I call this uh, not beast mode because for, you know, for, for ladies perfume, we don't call them beast mode anymore. We call them diva mode. This is a diva mode, diva mode in a bottle. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what? Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 mighty strong. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so if anybody would like a tester of uh, uh, the uh, Noir Pour Femme, uh, yeah, so uh, Janice said she, uh, she loves it. Yes. Uh, uh, Nana said she has it. Jen said she has it. That is gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous guys. Under one hundred bucks at the discounters, right? Under one hundred dollars at the discounters. Believe me, you will not regret buying this perfume. Uh, old Fleur is nice. You know what? I had Old Fleur. I gave it away. I, I didn't do much for me. Uh, uh, Juliel did not do much for me. I gave it away. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So Nina said it's very sexy and alluring. Yes, I uh, absolutely agree, agree with, 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 with this, uh, Nina. Extremely allo alluring perfume. But I'm going to show you another one. Uh, if you have that other one, you probably don't need this one. That's what someone said, right? Uh, so here's my other staple one that I uh, I just got in my collection. This one. The, the Noir Extreme, 
Oh, guys. So a lot of people say that if you have uh, uh, the Noah Po Farm, you don't need the Noah Extreme. And the, the Noah Extreme is, is, a men's, uh, is a men's perfume, right? It's a men's cologne. I call them cologne for men. But, oh, my God. Yes, the main version. Uh, this one, the Noah Extreme, the main version. I love it. I love it. You know, I don't care this it's for men, right? Uh, yes, Phaedra, it, it's an exotic and beautiful perfume. I don't care if they say this one is for men. I'm going to wear the heck out of it after Corona is over. But you know what? I'm not even going to wait for Corona because I can wear this in the in the winter. It's a, I mean, it's a no extremist bomb. Yes, Nelly, you're right. No extreme. It's a buzz for you. Oh my God. So, okay. So, see, see, um, I have, I'm getting some new words for my vo vocabulary. It's a boss fragrance, right? Boss lady, you know, boss fragrance. And then uh, Nelly said, no, extreme is bomb. It is bomb. It's, and then also it's under, I think it's under $100 uh, for the big bottle at the discounters. Uh, Nana said she, prefer, uh, he, she prefers the men's version. Uh, is it stronger, Bufa? Is it stronger? Yes. I th you, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if it's stronger because, uh, let's see, let's do the comparison. This one is a little bit sweeter, okay? Uh, the Noir Bufar is a little bit sweeter to me. The, the Noir Extreme is just a little bit bossier. Okay, so here, here I said it. Yeah, I'm using uh, 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 Nina or nuts. I'm 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 using nuts word here, so it's a little bit bossier for for the noir extreme. Uh, you would not. I mean, if you guys like strong, very powerful uh, perfumes, you would not uh, regret having this in your collection because that's how you know. I mean, it's just when I first, I, I did not try it before before I bought it, but you guys know that I'm I'm a uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, I buy blind bind uh, anyway. I'm a blind buy uh, perfume, but you, when I tried it, oh man, it's it's. I mean, it makes you feel like a boss for real. It makes you feel like uh, you can get up uh, and uh, take on the world. You know, like you will put uh, this perfume on. You know that song. With uh, Lizzie, is it Lizzie or Rizzi? Rizzo? I, I I don't know how you say her, her name. Uh, I you know I, I wake up and I do this, I do that. So that's what I uh, uh, when I first uh, try this perfume, that's the kind of song that came to my mind. You know, you are your own boss. You are your own person. When you put this on, people know. Okay, this you know this is a person. This is a woman. This is a powerful woman. This is a woman who knows what she wants. Who knows what she wants in life? Who she is? Who's wearing this perfume? It's someone, someone who does not put up with you know with a, with any crap from anybody because she knows who she is. So this is your powerful boss lady perfume, right? Uh, if you don't buy anything uh, from what I'm showing you tonight, get your hand on this perfume here, and when you put this one on, your husband will be like, "Oh, you smell good, baby." Yeah, and uh, yeah, boss lady, I'm coming. I know who I am. Don't mess with me. I own the street. This outfit that I'm wearing, I own this outfit. It's mine. It fits my body. No matter what size I am, right? It's mine. Yeah, you are not to be messed with. Yes, yeah. It's like, okay, you are not to be messed with when you wear this perfume. So let me stop talking about it because I love it so much. And I've yet to do a full... Uh, uh, review on this one, but I will do a full review. And these are the words that I'm going to be using when I do the full review on this perfume because it is that good. It's great. So if anybody would like a tester, if you guys don't have a tester, you want to try it. Uh, so <laughs> when I start to work, I need to get uh, things to wear. Yes, uh, 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 not. Uh, and I'm looking forward for you to you know to to start to to start working also. Yeah. Uh, dominatrix. Yes. Nina, yes, you hit the you hit the nail right on the head. Yes, this perfume here, and you know how I found out about this perfume was uh, uh, Amina. 
did a review about this of this perfume, and I trust Amina's. Uh, I mean, I trust her reviews. Whenever uh, she said, uh, "Oh, and Joy, I don't have a husband either. <laughs> you don't need a husband to wear this perfume. <laughs> Your boyfriend will tell you that you smell good." And that's nothing wrong with not having a husband, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's a safer, it's a safer, it's a safer blind buy. Only if you like strong perfumes. If you don't like strong perfumes, stay away from it. But it's just, you know, dominatrix, you know, boss lady perfume type. All right. Okay, I'm getting off my soapbox when it comes to this perfume, right? Uh, I think I've, I've talked about it enough. I have three left. Uh, the other one is Vani Fatai. Dark vanilla and chocolate. I think it has chocolate on it or coffee. It, it either has chocolate or it has coffee. But this is my darkest vanilla perfume that I have. Uh, and if you, uh, you know, I, I tried the other one, the uh, tobacco vanny, and unfortunately I did not like uh, tobacco vanny, but I love vanny fatai. Uh, and you guys know I'm a vanilla uh, uh, fan. I just love, love, love this one. Love, love uh, the uh, vanilla. I, I, uh, I just, I mean, I just, just love it. If anybody would like a tester, this one, uh, let me know. <coughs> All right. Let me drink some tea before I go to over the last three perfumes that I have. Oh, okay. So, Elfine, Elfin, sorry, and Miss Bo Miss uh, Boyd, if you can put Nina Rides down for the uh, Vani Fatai for the one uh, five ml, please. Uh, the name, which name uh, are you talking about, uh, uh, Cheryl? I don't know which one. Uh, Maria. Uh, Slaughter also, Marsha. Sorry, I'm sorry, Marsha. I, I, I mispr mispronounced your name. Uh, so you are right, doctors. I prefer vanilla fat over tobacco vanilla. Oh, yeah. You know, I like tobacco and perfumes, not so much, but I think uh, the vanilla fat uh, was better for me than, than the tobacco vanilla. So Marsha Slaughter said me. I don't know which one you said me for. Maybe it's a vanilla fat But if you guys can write, put Nina. Name down for the five ml decant for the vanny fatai. Please put her name down. And the last bottle one. Oh, so the last bottle was vanny fatai. V a uh, n i l l e f a. I don't know how you spell it. Let me see. Uh, f a t i t a l e. That's the last one. Uh, that's the last one, uh, Miss Miss uh, Cheryl. Jennifer said, I love, I love all those black bottles. Oh, I love them too, Jennifer. I just love perfumes. I love, love, love perfumes. Okay, so Marsha gets a, a, a tester of Vanny Fatai. Also, two perfumes left. Well, actually, uh, there was one more I have. It's the one in the long black bottles. You guys know it. Uh, it's, it's a very, very common one. I don't know where I put it. So we, I'm not gonna talk about it, but because I don't know where I put it, I think it's uh you guys know one the one in the long black barrel. Uh actually I, there was, I had three more, uh three left. I don't know where I put them. One in the gold barrel, one in the black barrel, but you guys know which one they are. So I have two two left for the night. And we, we I show you guys lost cherry already. Uh one of the best cherry perfumes I think uh is out there, except it doesn't last. On the skin, but I still love it. All right, it's the lost cherry one. Uh, this one definitely has a uh, cherry, and it also has a uh, uh, almond. I know that for a fact. It has cherry and almond. Uh, it's a beautiful perfume. If you can, if you just want to carry it on your purse, in your purse with you, right? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, Janice. So yeah, guys, I do have Black Orchid. If anybody would like a test of Black Orchid, let me know. But I don't have it out here to show. It's somewhere in my cabinet. 
uh, and I also have the orchid, the eau de parfum, and I also have the perf perfume. So uh, Nelly said she was wearing uh, 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 Lost Cherry. How long did it last on your skin, Nelly? The Lost Cherry, because this one, I cannot get it to stay on my skin. I cannot get it to stay on my skin, but I, but I love it so much, I don't wanna part ways with it. But I get probably maybe, mostly probably four hours, right? Uh, with this one, but it's 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 one of the most beautiful cherry perfumes uh, there there is out there. It just doesn't last. It just doesn't last on the skin. It's you know to me, uh, it's not a waste of money because I I actually the, look at the bottle. It's gorgeous bottle, beautiful perfume. It just doesn't last, right? Uh, yeah. So three to four hours. I know. For something that pricey, for it to only last three to four hours, it's a shame. It is a shame. But you know what? What what can what can we do? It's you know not everything is made to last for a very long time, right? The last perfume for the night is, and I did say I'm I'm keeping those uh just an hour and a half, no no longer than an hour and a half, and we are exactly at eight thirty two, and I started about one minute late, so we almost we almost done. I have. Noir de Noir. You guys knew I would have to have Noir de Noir, right? And then I even have the body lotion for Noir Pour Femme, which I haven't even opened yet. And the body lotions are hard to find, and I was able to find, find it at one of the discounters for under $30, and I was so happy, and I went ahead and, and snatched it. So <clears throat> Noir de Noir is also a very boozy uh, perfume. I love it and you know what i think it's almost probably almost finished because i use it a lot no i think it's it's i still have half of it left uh it's super 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 great right not super super but super great uh if anybody would like a tester of this one please put your name down if you don't if you, and i'm sure nelly you probably have this one see <laughs> Before I even saw, saw the note, <laughs> no, the note is my favorite from Tom Ford. It's gorgeous. Yes. I see. I'm getting to know you guys so well, right? Uh, hello, uh, Jess8840. Uh, oh, are you new? You are new here, J uh, Jays. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And hopefully, you are a subscriber. You, you subscribe to me. Uh, hey, Lun CA. Luncia came at the last minute of the show. Oh my God. You are so, so in trouble with me, Luncia. No, you're going to have to sit down and we watch the whole show and then and buy every single perfume that I just showed here. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay's 8440. 80, 80 Hopefully you, you, you've, you've subscribed to me and I, I really enjoy you being here. For all of those of you guys who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning subscribers, some of you have been here with me forever. <coughs> Uh, I'm going to drink something and I'm going to say something about some, you know, some of, some of the people who have been here for me, with me for a very long time. And you guys, please, the rest of you, please don't get upset when, uh, when I give some shots, I'm going to give some shout out to some people, right? Uh, yes, Nadia, uh, very nice, really, really beautiful. Uh, thank you. So I have some people who are here. Okay. Nats has been with me from day one when I opened my channel. Uh, and, you know, I always say this. I thought I used to think that Nat was a guy <laughs> until I found out she was a woman. She she won one of my, one of my first uh, uh, giveaways. And another person who's been with me from day one since I opened this channel uh, is uh, Joanne. And then the other person is Sunflower. And... Uh, Jennifer's been uh, with me for a long time because Jennifer was one of the first people who started the channel, the perfume, the perfume group with us. She's been with us for a very long time. Uh, oh, thank you, Jez. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Uh, who else uh, uh, have been? Uh, Lun CA, you know, uh, been with me for, for a very long time. Uh, who else? Uh, hold on. Oh, Elfin, of course, you know, Elfin has been with me for a very long time. And you guys, I really, I mean, I appreciate you guys, you guys. And for those of you who's been with me since I've been doing lives 
And Cheryl, oh my God, thank you so much, Cheryl. And thank you, Nats, for bringing Cheryl into my life. Without Nats, I would have never known Cheryl, right? Uh, you guys are like, the, I mean, are so good. I mean, just like, I, you know, I, I've never met you guys in person, right? Except uh, maybe two or three people that I've met in person that I know in person. But I think of you guys as like, you know, my friends. And I really appreciate you guys taking time to come to my lives, watching my videos and commenting and sharing them. So, and uh, where is Deborah? Deborah Hopper. Deborah Hopper has been with me since, 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 day, since day one also. You guys are just like, you know, so, you know, so nice, so good people. And Joy, Joy, you are like, like the sister from another mother, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joy was used to work with me. She kept me from getting murdered from a guy. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are just like, so really good. So, and, and I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, you know, uh, for being, you know, you guys make this channel. So we are, uh, let me tell you guys how many subscribers I have now and when the next giveaway will be, right? So right now I have, uh 2861 subscribers so i'm short uh 139 am i doing the, the math correctly right yeah 139 to make it to 3000 once i get to 3000 uh so can you put pam jordan for uh lost cherry please uh someone i put her down for lost cherry it's not gonna last on your skin pam it's a waste of uh of three dollars for shipping <laughs> For shipping. <laughs> oh, Chrissy said, we love your passion. Thank you so much, Chrissy. And Chrissy's been with me for a while too because she comes to all of my life. Yes, I'm almost there, Spicy. Almost. Once I get to 3,000 subscribers, I will do a live. Okay, I will do uh, I will do uh, a giveaway. I probably will do just uh, maybe not, not a live or maybe just a, you know, a, a just a, uh, uh, a video. But I will donate. I will donate uh, Tom Ford Noir. Okay, it will be one of the one of the persons I'm going to donate. Uh, you know, to to people in in, in the group here, uh, and I will have some other perfume. You know, some other things to donate. But I hope you guys have really really uh, enjoyed this. Uh, so, Joy said we appreciate your lost interest in perfume until you started this this uh, 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 channel. Now I'm back at it again. Oh, I'm so glad you're back at it. Joy, it's it's you know it's one of the uh, great wonders, right? Uh, and Akisia, so let me guys tell you, let me tell you guys about Akisia. Uh, I was at like maybe nine hundred and something subscribers, and I was complaining. I said, my gosh, I need to get to a thousand. And this young lady had never met me, didn't know anything about me. I think she was new to my uh, to the perfume corner group, and I thank God for sending her by way. And Akisia said, she sent an email. She said, I got you. I was like, what the heck does this woman mean she got me, right? And so within a day and a half, guys, guess what? I made it to 1,000 subscribers, and it was all because of her. She went and, and shared my videos and, and sent her friend my, friends my way. I was like, wow, what a uh, really, really nice lady. And so someone made a comment you know, to Akisia and said, and, and when she said, she, I got you, Someone made a comment, and you, which, you know, wasn't a very nice comment. And her response was, "What's wrong with me helping a sister out, right?" Yeah. So, and I, you know, Akisia is the per, is responsible for me making it to a thousand subscribers, and I was so, so, you know, so happy that you know she 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 reached out and, and helped me. And you know, you guys are great, and I I love doing shows, I love doing lives, and I think I found my passion now for YouTube. Right? I like doing the videos. Right? The videos you sit down, you just record them and then you edit them and you put them down, hoping people watch them. But when you do the when I do the lives, I know people come to the lives, they watch them, they sit there, we you know we interact. I feel like you guys, all of you guys are guys like are in a big room together, and I'm just standing there talking. <laughs> oh yes, Akisa got the connection. <laughs> yeah, she got the connection. So the people who's been taking notes for me. Uh, 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 Elfin and also Miss Cheryl Boy, Cheryl was boy. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And because of your uh, uh, gesture, uh, gesture, you guys have done such a great thing for me. I'm going to send out uh, 
uh, one because I think um, the first person was receiving one of those bottles, but the other two, these are the person that I was going to sell yesterday. I decided I'm not going to sell them anymore. I'm just going to give them away. So the people were taking notes for me. You guys will get, Cheryl, you'll get one. You get this one. And then uh, Elfin, you'll get that one, right? So you guys, you know, your hard work, uh, you know, is, is paying off. So I will put them in a little box and ship them out to you with some testers. So this was fun for me, guys. It was so fun. So uh, I, you know, I want to do those uh, these uh, se these sessions based on people's schedule. Uh, let before we say goodbye tonight, because I know there's another live going on with uh, with my friend uh, on Common Sense and also my other friend uh, Amina. I want to go and support them, right? So I have to do part four of this of this because I still have over 200 bars of perfume to talk about right so which days do you guys think is best for me to do those lives for, for you guys because i like this turnout we have over 30 30 something people in, you know in this one which which days are best do you guys think saturday 7 p.m or 7 30 uh are good or maybe uh sundays or maybe no mondays right monday's horrible right <coughs> Uh, let me know which days you think guys are best for me to, to continue doing them because I need to, to go over all of the ones. So I think the next one I will do, maybe the next one will, will be the Manceras. The Manceras are a lot. Maybe I'll do the Manceras and, and some other perfumes together. And then the following one, I will do the bond number nines. <coughs> Sorry. The bond number nines, I will do the following ones, the bond number nine. So let me know if you guys, you know, think about it, maybe I will uh, uh, post a poll in my community page and then you guys can, I will put some dates down for next week, some day, right? And then you guys tell me which one you think, uh, uh, you know, what, what day works best, either Tuesday, uh, Deb say weekend. So how about we do it next Saturday? Okay, so Saturday evening, okay, Saturday 7 p.m., all right, so we're getting some people that say Saturday. So Deborah said, Doctor was you are truly reminding uh women and men of how wonderful it is to be remembered after you leave your womb without saying a word. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know Deb. <laughs> I know. Thank you so much. So Saturday or Sunday night. Okay, so uh so Joanne had to have, you know, that's uh, I was messing with Joanne's uh, dinner time uh, today. So I'm going to do the next one next Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Will that work for you guys? Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Pam. They, they are true, uh, true blessings in your life. Yes, they are. Yeah, you guys are like true blessings. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. And I wish I could give all of you guys uh, uh, all of my perfumes. But I have to keep some for myself, right? And Nestle, my sister, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Uh, no, no, I love you. I appreciate you. And I know you do play my videos. You watch them, but you, you know. So we'll do the next one Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I promise I will be on time. And I'm going to uh, mail out those testers. Unless you guys want for the next week for me to mail all three of them together. No, I think I'm going to mail them out uh, this week. I will mail those testers out this week because... Some of you guys have two testers, and please, please send me your addresses. Don't assume that I have them. Some people that have their addresses. Joanne, I have it. You know, uh, Christy, I think I have your address. Uh, who else? I have the I have her address. Mama Boy, Miss Boy, I have your address. Pam, I have your address. Uh, Joy, I have it. Uh, some other people, I may have your address, but please, please rem remember to send me your addresses. Belinda, I have your address, right? But the other people. Akisia, I think I have your address too, but send me your addresses so I can, you know, uh, get those things out to you. Because the last thing I want is to promise something and offer you guys something without you guys asking, because none of you guys ask for this. And if you guys, if I wasn't here, if I didn't even say I, I wasn't going to give anything, you guys will still, would have still been here with me tonight. So if I offer something, I want to make sure that I get it out to you guys. So send me your addresses and I'm going to spend the rest of the evening I'm going to do the deacon for those other perfumes. And then tomorrow <coughs> night, I will put them in the mail. I will send you guys a tracking number. If, even if you don't get a tracking number from me, you must know that it will be in the mail, okay? 
I will put, put the tracking number in the mail for you guys and get your tracking number. Then you can track it so you will receive it. And I really appreciate it. And thank you so much again. And have a good night. Please, please remember to wear your mask. Okay? And be good to each other. And the last thing I'm going to say, don't forget to wear perfumes. Because guess what? You're going to smell good. Bye now. Bye, guys.